Hello and welcome to our discussions on game theory. Now last time when we met we talked about what are various tables, columns, numbers, rows, columns, how to interpret them. Now today we'll take a very simple game. Obviously we are talking about two person zero sum games. In that two person zero sum game also we have been given these numbers. These numbers are 15, 14, 16. Then there is a 12, 13, 18. And then there is a 14, 13, 10. So this is a game that has been given to us. Now needless to say that this will be A, row player. All these are gains for row player. B, column player. All these are losses for column player. A, A has strategy of A1, A2 and A3. B, B has a strategy of B1, B2 and B3. What are these strategies? These need not necessarily be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This would have been A1, A2, A3 and B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Any particular combination is possible as we saw in our previous video. So, this time we are having this kind of payoff that is given to us. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. Now we, we need to solve this game. Okay, this is game. Okay, these are my strategies. You are my manager. Tell me what should I do? Should I go with A1, A2, A3? I also know that I can advertise. I can aggressively advertise. I can aggressively promote. I could distribute free gifts. I could work on my after sales. But you as a manager, tell me what should I do? A1, A2 or A3? Advertising or sales promotion or after sales service. What should I do? You will be telling me A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, what to do. Fine, so this is the situation. Now, when we talk of player B or player A, first let us say we talk of player B. When I talk of player B, player B knows one thing for sure. What? That A is here to give me loss. A is here to give me a loss. I am player B. I am talking from perspective of B. B knows very well that A is here to give me loss. Why loss? Because it is a 2 person zero sum game. Whatever I lose, A will win. So A will want that I get a loss. And A will ensure not only that I get a loss, I get maximum loss. Because when I get maximum loss, A gets maximum gain. We are discussing two person zero sum games. So B, I am I being column player, I being B, I very well know that A is here to give me loss. And not only loss, it is here to give me maximum loss. So A will ensure that maximum losses happen to me. What is the maximum loss that I can have in B1 strategy? Maximum loss is 15. So A will make it sure that I get a maximum loss of 15. If I go ahead and I say that I will be going with strategy B1. If I say that I will be going with strategy B1, A will ensure that I get a maximum loss of 15. If I go with B2, A will ensure that I get a maximum loss of 14. If I take B3, in previous case we saw Afridi or Shoaib Akhtar. So if I go with Afridi, India will send a player who can hit Afridi badly. If I go with Shoaib Akhtar, India will ensure that they will send a batsman who will hit me most badly. So if I take B3, A will take a strategy such that it hurts me most, that is 18. Now the thing is, A is not taking a call to hurt me. Rather, A is taking a call to win itself. So when I take B1, A decides that it will go with A1 because it is winning most. If I take second strategy, A will decide that I will go with second, uh, this one. 14 is best. So if I take B2, A will decide A1. If I decide that I am going with B3, why I am deciding all the time? Because I am talking from my perspective. I am talking from column perspective. 
So if I take b1, a will jump to a1 because if I have jumped to b1, if I say that I will be using strategy b1, my returns are 15, 12 and 14. While a's strategy are a1, a2, a3. Obviously, what will a take? A will try to take maximum gain. So if I take b1, I very well know that a will hit me by 15. If I take a2, uh, b2, a will hit me by 14. If I take b3, I know that a will hit me by 18. So I very well understand that a will try to give me maximum loss. Is it not logical that I try to ensure that I get minimum of all these possible losses? This strategy is called minimax. Remember where we have studied, min, uh, talked about studied minimax? We studied minimax in decision making. When we studied this in decision making, remember what we called it? We called it minimax. Regret criterion. In decision making, we made use of this strategy and we used to call it minimax regret criterion. Regret. Regret is loss, penalty. You try to minimize the maximum penalty that you will be paying. Minimax is minimizing the maximum loss that I can have. A is here to give me maximum loss. I will try to minimize this loss. I will go with, if I had to make a choice out of these three losses, I will make this choice. So B takes minimax strategy. What about A? A will be taking maxi min strategy. Minimax strategy, maximum strategy. Why maximum strategy? Because A knows that B will restrict my profits to minimum. Whatever I say, whatever I do, B will ensure that I get a minimum profit. So B will ensure that I get a minimum profit. Now if I have this knowledge that B will give me minimum profit, then why not pick maximum of those minimum profits? What do we mean? If I take A1, if A decides that it will be going with A1, what are the returns for A1? 15, 14 and 16. Now I have made a choice, I am going with A1, I am row player, I have taken a choice. I very well know that what B will do. What B will do? B will select this strategy. Why? Because if B selects this strategy, I will be winning 16. Me winning 16 means B will be losing 16. So B would not like to lose 16. Rather B will compromise for losing only 14. So I very well know that whatever I try to do, B will ensure that I get minimum from it. If I take A1, B will ensure that I get minimum. Minimum. If I take A2, B will ensure that I get 12. How will B ensure that I get 12? B will go to this strategy. Whatever I pick, B will ensure that I get minimum. Now I have this knowledge that B will ensure that I get only these payoffs. At least I can try to pick the maximum from these. Maximum from these is 14. So what do we get? B is trying to go for this 14. This 14 is over here, A is trying to go with this 14. It feels that this is best according to maximum strategy. So this 14 is also coming from here. If both row selection and column selection are pointing to the same point, then this particular location, A1, B2 is known as saddle point. A1, and B2 is known as saddle point. And
strategies for a r we have a saddle point if we have a saddle point in the game then strategies for a would be 100% of the times this and never am i going with second or third so this will be 100% of this this 1 0 0 if there is a saddle point it tells me that this is the best strategy for a and this is the best strategy for b if both 14 are pointing to same place we'll see what is, this means strategy for b would be never go with this never go with this always go with this why am i calling it always go with this because it is a saddle point so never always never never always never now what is this one this is chance this is probability 100% of the chance times you should go with this 100% it means one in probability these are chances when i should go with what strategy 100% of the times a should stick with this strategy 100% of the times b should stick with b2 so we had a saddle point we had a saddle point we have strategies and then you have value of game value of game is denoted either by v or in books it is also at times it is also denoted by g like in previous question we saw that we can call it r row player column player c or we could call it a or b or we could call it a samsung and apple or we could call it an india or pakistan it is up to us what we call similarly value of game is either denoted by v or g what is the value of game the value of saddle point 14 and for this particular game i can say that it is a stable game this is a stable game why is it a stable game a is decided that this is best for me a1 is best for me b has decided that b2 is best for me that is why we call it a stable game we have our saddle point we have our strategies 100 010 -0. what does this 100 mean that a1 100% of the times a should stick with a1 i being manager now i am telling a to stick with a1 100% of the times a2 and a3 never for b my solution would be that it should always stick 100% of the times with b2 and never with b1 and b3 so these are the strategies and value of game when you are asked to solve a game this is the solution what is the solution strategies for a and b value of game what do we mean by value? what do we mean by strategies strategies are telling me out of these three strategies what is the proportion of the times that i should take a1 100% is the proportion 100% of the times i to take i should take a1 zero times i should take b2 a2 and a3 for b i am saying 100% of the times it should take b2 0% of the times it should take b1 or b3 this is my strategy this is my submission that these should be the strategies what is the value of game 14 what do we mean by value of game value of game is if this game is played over an extended period if this game is played n number of times if this game is played 10 times 14 times 100 times then return of this game will be 14 remember this is plus 14 return of this game will be plus 14 plus 14 for whom plus 14 for a or b plus 14 for a because we know that this game is written from perspective of a so value of this game is 14 for a that is if you play this game 10 times on an average a will be getting 14 a gain of 14 if you play this game 10 times on an average a will be gaining 14 it might so happen 
that it might win only 10. In another game, it will win 14. In another game, it will win 18. But if you add these and take average 10 plus 14 plus 18 divided by 3, 32, 42, 42 divided by 3, average would be 14. If this game is played n number of times, average return for A would be 14. This also means average loss for B will be 14. Fine. So, this was a stable game. Stable game means it is a stable game. Both A and B have agreed upon a strategy and they are not changing their strategies. Why do we call this a stable game? The question is, is solved. Let us see why are we calling it a stable game. In absence of this method, let us see why are we calling it a stable game. Now, suppose A has to take first call and A goes ahead with a call of A3. This is our first step. A goes ahead with call of A3. A knows that when it takes this strategy, it can win 14, 13 or 10. We started this game from A3. So it knows it can win 14, 13 or 10. What will B do in such case? For B, it is a loss of 14, loss of 13, loss of 10. B will jump to B3. So, we started with A3, B jumped to B3. Now, when B jumps to B3, what are the returns possible for B? 16, 18 and 13. Now, see, A took a call. It knew the returns are 14, 13 and 10. From 14, 13 and 10, B selected 10 because these are losses for B. So, B decided minimum loss of 10. Minimum loss of 10. Now, if B decides B3, these are the returns possible. Because when B goes for B3, A can go with any strategy. So, when B goes with B3, these are the returns. As soon as you see that these are the returns, where will A go? A can either win 16 or win 18 or win 13. A will go with A2. So, this is our third move in the game. You start with A3, B jumps to B3, A moves to A2. Now, when A has selected A2, what can the returns be? When A has selected A2, the returns can be 12, 13 or 18. A decided, B decided, A decided. Now the turn is for B. B knows this is a loss of 12, 13 or 18. B will decide that I am happy to go with loss of 12. So, B decides for B2. First, second, third, fourth selection is B2. If B selects B2, if you are not getting the idea, you will get it in some time. If B selects B2, the returns possible are 14, 13 and 13 for B2 because A will take a call. So, B2 will have a 14, 13 and 13, a loss of 14, 13, 13. For A, what will A decide? A will decide A1. First is A, second is B, third by A, fourth by B and fifth decision again by A. A is deciding 14 because a gain of 13, a gain of 13 but a gain of 14. Obviously, this is the best one. If A takes A1, what are the possible gains for B? What are the possible returns for B with A1? A1 is 14. A has selected A1. A1 has returns of 15, 14, 16. 15, 14, 16. A loss of 15, a loss of 14, a loss of 16. B will stick with B2, fifth decision, sixth decision. Now, when B has selected B2, the returns possible for B2 are 14, 13, 
14 13 13 14 13 13 a will go with a1 that is seventh decision when a goes with a1 the returns possible are when o a go is, goes with a1 15 14 and 16 b will again select b2 now look very carefully we started with a3 b3 a2 b2 a1 b2 a1 b2 so we started with a3 they switched their strategies but now a time has come when a is persisting with a1 while b is persisting with b2 now when b has selected b2 what will be the next round ninth round when b has selected b2 the returns will be 14 13 13 a will again select 1 so you can see that a1 b2 a1 b2 a1 b2 a time has come in this game where both have agreed upon a situation where a is always selecting 1 b is always selecting 2 if a is always selecting this can i not say that strategy of a is 1 0 0 b is always selecting b2 b2 if you go on it will keep on selecting b2 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 yes initially there was some switching but after a point of time both have agreed that i'll go with a1 you go with b2 what will be the strategy for b when b is always going with b2 one is never two is always three is and what will be the value of game because it is a stable game a is always going with this strategy b is always going with this strategy 14 why are we calling it a stable game because if i remove first three rounds of these of this game they are always sticking with a1 b2 a1 b2 a1 b2 a1 b2 you can start this game from anywhere now this time i will not be writing it down in this much detail let us say i start this game with b3 if you start this game with b3 you get 16 18 and 10 first choice is b3 a has a choice to make what is the best 18 is best where is 18 in a2 this becomes my second choice a2 is my second choice so the returns are 12 13 and 18 b will stick with 12 because for b is it is a it is a loss so b has gone for b1 if b goes for b1 it will take 15 12 and 14 where will a go a will go in 15 because it is maximum profit so a goes to a1 from 15 if a goes to 15 what will be the returns 15 14 and 16 what will b pick b will select the minimum loss b2 if b selects b2 the returns will be 14 13 and 13 a will select a1 14 is the maximum so again we see that we are into that loop a1 b2 a1 if a selects a1 the returns would be 15 14 16 b will again stick with b2 so we again see that we started our game this time from b3 last time we started our game from a3 but it went on until it came down to a1 b2 a1 b2 when we started with a3 this time we started with b3 it is stuck with a1 b2 a1 so this is why we call it a stable game because after a point of time both teams both parties both players agree upon a strategy and they do not switch their strategy any further initially they were switching b3 a2 b1 b3 to b1 b1 to b2 but now it has settled into a groove it is not changing its strategy it is remaining at b2 a is remaining at a1 we saw in previous example also and here now because this is a mathematical technique because we are studying it as a student we know that we have a method to solve it that simple method is we'll take a recap minimax 
strategy and maximum strategy what is minimax minimum from maximums maximum 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 minimum i always asked ask students to speak this in their mind i'll again speak this in my mind minimax maximum 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 minimum 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 maximum this 14 is for this this 14 is also for this because both are pointing at same cell this is a stable game this is the saddle point saddle point is where a1 b2 is saddle point it is a stable game where strategies for a and b are these value of game is this and this is what constitutes solution of our game so next time when we meet we'll take some more questions to clear the concepts to clear the doubts up till this point we were trying to understand what is a 2 person zero sum game what are these strategies how these strategies switch how a takes a call looking at these payoffs b takes this call looking at this payoffs a goes to from 18 a goes to a2 if a goes to a2 b jumps to 12 if b jumps to 12 a jumps to 15 if a jumps to 15 b jumps to 14 so this is how it switches between the players as a student this is not important for you how it is switching here and there as a student important is minimax and maximum and these details strategy of game value of game and if it is a stable game then also tell me that it is a stable game and settle point is at a1 b2 and the value at a1 b2 is value of game so this was it for our today's question next time when we meet we'll take some more questions on game theory thanks for watching bye bye take care